Good morning, everybody. All right. Time to go over. Absolute time to go over. A couple of different changes that are happening in the market. I think we should start there and address those. Uh, first and foremost, this news out of China. Um, it's not ideal. I mean, they're going to force people to buy stocks because they don't want to buy stocks. So it's not really where you, where you want to be. Um, something really very, you know, you just don't want to you just don't want to be in that position. You don't want to be that those people, but you know, we are forcing people to to buy stocks. I mean, it just seems kind of uh, seems kind of crazy, but it is what it is. So let's get into this and let's start talking about some of these names right here. Uh, for example, let's talk about Yang and just talk about what's going on there. Number one, do you really want to go out there and be buying this uh, bear fund right now? Yeah, you probably do. I mean, this is really the time to start looking at this kind of stuff. If you're interested in being short uh, China, you have to do it on this kind of stuff. Um, I, I never know how this stuff plays out. Never. You just don't know. Right. And I don't pretend to know. But the way that I always look at it is when you start to see this kind of nonsense, it's not good. Like it's just it's just not. Like you, you can't force people to buy um, stock forever. Like eventually they'll hit a point where they're going to have to say, yeah, we can't do it anymore. So the le levels that I would look for on this, you just might want to remember these. I would look for these pre and post levels and I would use pre and post data when I'm doing this because the Chinese market is open when ours is not during periods of time, there may be some overlap, but I'd have to go and take a look at that to, to make sure I'm answering that correctly. I can say this. It's definitely something uh, that you want to look pre and post data on. There's no question about that. Give me one second, guys. Sorry. So, all right. So, if you look at how this is playing out, it's definitely something where I would use these levels that I just drew there if I was interested in doing that. Um, for me, overall, I, it's just not my it's not my forte. Now, I really like the XPEV news. Candidly, their deal with uh, VW. Um, if I was going to look at this and say which one makes the most sense to look at, I mean, I'd probably go with the one that's holding the gap down, the one that held that opening, uh, the one that has the abandoned baby pattern, the one that has the you know bullish island reversal. That as long as you don't fill the gap, you're going to have a bullish island reversal right here. So you have a lot of very positive patterns coming out of this one. I mean, if I had to look at which one makes the most sense, and I'll probably watch this one today, uh, this would be the one that I would watch off the open if I was just trying to scalp and make a little money. That would be the one that, you know, I would watch. That would make the most sense to me. I mean, you can look at any of them. But remember, I mean, VW has all the money in the world. They could partner with any company they want in the world and who they partner with. So that's something that is of interest to me. Um, this is something I traded a little earlier. I made a little money, not, not much. And then I think we lost on the back end of it. And I like how you're holding right in here. So let's just show that. So one, like one of my strict rules is I really very rarely will buy stocks that are below the 55 or 50 for more than a day if they are. Um, but if I could start flipping the 22 again, means the bulls are back in charge. I can't, you know, I can't close below here. This is of interest. And uh, if I had to pick one, this would be it. And this would definitely be something that I'd be interested in. The other thing that before I even get into the indexes and talk about it, I do want to talk about Apple. And I'm just going to say this. You, you probably want to use Apple as a guide. And, I'm, and people are going to say, well, why? Why wouldn't you use Tesla or NVIDIA? And a lot of people are going to use NVIDIA, and that's fine. 
the reason we cracked and the, and the crack kept going was Apple missing iPhone sales. If for some reason this starts to fix itself, and this is, a, this is very damaged, technically speaking, this is really damaged. So if it can start getting its act together in here, that might be a sign. As far as sectors, I'm just going to be blunt. I mean, there's not a sector out there that looks good. Uh, to me, the ES, I'm looking at this, it's trying to set up. Again, I have lower highs, lower highs. Now, what I have here are wicks. So what I like to do when I have wicks like this, I like to just drop a level and see if there's something around there. And there's this right there that little spot. So let's clean up those levels and let's talk about this. So what does this look like to anybody, right? You know, so if we kind of look at that, I don't think that drawing works on, that drawing tool works here. I'll use these, this drawing tool. So what does that look like? Looks like a left shoulder, head, right shoulder. Doesn't mean you're gonna break, but you look like you have a neckline there. And then you go here and go, well, we took out a low, we rallied, bearish engulfing, everybody screamed in the right. It is a bearish engulfing. This bar is in control, tries to break fails, trying to rally. Okay, to me, this, this is pretty nasty stuff that they're actually setting up because they're going to get people to convince that, oh, it's over. They're going to rally you up to something like 44.70, 44.86, and then they're going to rug pull. That's what that's how I think this is setting up. I mean, if you know, gun to my head, if people always laugh when they look at watch the videos for the first time, which they're like, well, you're not saying anything. I'm like, no, I'm analyzing. Nobody really knows what's going to happen. But you analyze, and then you based upon what happens, then you make a decision. It's really hard to look at that and feel warm and fuzzy and say, boy, I really better get out there and buy equities. But maybe I just go sideways in here and rebuild, and then these moving averages catch up. I think that's a nice, warm, rosy feeling to tell yourself that, but I've got a 22 that's pointing down. I've got a, fifth, a 12 that's pointing down. I mean, if, the, if we get a declining slope on a 55, we have a problem. Like that's not a market you buy. If this is already not a market you buy if you're below the 55. It's not because you don't have institutional sponsorship. So what are you going to do? You're going to fight institutions? Good luck. So, I mean, my, my trading is really that simple. If I'm below the 55, I'm renting stocks. I'm not, I'm not going crazy. And I, I just want to put into perspective something so people get this. And I did this in the newsletter. If you don't get the newsletter, there's a free version that comes out. I do try to get them out daily. I'm going to be candid. It doesn't happen, uh, but it does come out often. And it will at least come out on Saturdays where we review charts. That alone, at first it's free, but I would definitely get it because there's a lot of stuff that goes into Saturday's newsletter and it's free. But if you look over here and you see this rejection, so you try, you fail, right? Second time's always the charm, right? If you break through, okay? So so there's second, it's kind of a, like a little nerd technical joke, but anyway, so you kind of break through right here, right? All right. We see the negative divergence. We all see that negative divergence here. It cracks. And then you're down here and you're trying to bounce. Now, if you can get over that, great. But I don't think it's a coincidence that that level and the 55, I use the 55. If some people use a 50, you should use whatever you're comfortable with. I don't think it's a, a coincidence. I don't believe in coincidences that you're going to just stop right there. Like that's the area that we're going to stop on. Um, I have a hard time with that. I really do. So that's definitely something that I would be, you know, a little apprehensive about. I'll leave, I'll leave it at that. I, I'm not feeling this at all yet. Uh, I've got, I'm underperforming here. I can't get above the 50 on the RSI. If you look at this on a weekly, I broke the 70 uh, right here. You know, trade showed me how to do this. I got to make sure that I do this during the video. Uh, where is that line trade? Where is that text visible mouse over? Is that what I want to get rid of? Visible mouse over always visible, always invisible. Is that it? Yeah, that's fine. Right. Or is it the pain one that I want to get rid of? It's the pain one settings canvas always. Let's make this one always visible. I don't even know what the heck that navigation is. Uh, this I always want invisible. All right, there we go. So yeah, now I can say it. So you see, you broke the 70 here on the weekly. But that's not something we want to go near. Uh, the other thing that I use here, and I don't change these. Some of these are proprietary. This is not. 
But, I, you know, I did go over this in Saturday's video, and I just really want people to get this. Let's make this brighter for everybody. Everybody likes things brighter. Yay. And what we're going to do is we're going to keep this here, too. And one of the key things that I just want to talk about here is once you're below right here and you're negative, right, it's really hard for this to outperform. It's very difficult for this to outperform. Like I, I can't stress how difficult that is. So, you know, I, I would just keep that in mind. It's not something that I would be paying attention to uh, at all at this point. I can get rid of this one for now and we just focus on this, but you got to just watch this. If you're negative, you do not want to be going out here and fighting the tape. You're fighting the tape. You're not going to win. You're not an institution. Okay. The way that I like to explain my trading is institutions are the sharks. We're the remora, right? In other words, we feed off of what they throw. You're not going to beat them. Now, you might want to watch this daily today because you already see it starting to set up. So can we hold here? Can we flip on the daily? Because if you flip on the daily, then you meet flip on the weekly. If I stay right here, this is telling me on the weekly that I'm probably going to go down. If I stay here, I can't stay here. I need to, I need to push. So we're going to have to watch this really carefully. I would not sleep on this. I, my sense of it is that they're going to run us up at some point to up to 15-3, and then they're going to make us, you know, reassess our life and go from there. The one level that I think is very important is right here. And let me clean this off now. Uh, and I only use that for weekly charts. I think that this is very important that it's happening this morning already. And I would pay attention to that right there. This was Powell's top and we're breaking it. Now, pardon me. Not a lot of sleep last night, like four hours. So if I look at this right here and we come across and you flag right here, right? When was the last time we did that anywhere? Like seriously, like you start going through this, right? When was, it, when was the last time we did this back here? So something to something to think about. So now if we if we look at that, you're gonna fight that? I'm not fighting that. I think you have to watch these levels and see where you're gonna get to. Now the one thing that I said, and I said this on Saturday's video as well, and I do want to hammer this home, lower high, lower high, lower high, lower high, higher high, didn't make a lower low. So are you getting a turn here? Again, my favorite answer. I have no idea, but I, I would not bet against this here. And this idea that we're miraculously going to call the top you know, like I was laughing about this the other day because I saw someone that I really respect and I'm shocked that they they said what they said. So guys that follow me on um, Twitter where I post, but I'm very much more active on YouTube now. And if you if you look at this, there's a positive divergence right here. I'm just going to show you it. It should still be on the, the ES, right? It's definitely there on, um, it's definitely there on the, the other, yeah, so it's right here, right? And you can see that how you're lifting up here. I'll draw it in real quick. Let's do it this way. So you can see where I'm, I'm going with this. And I think this is really important for everybody to get. And this is what's kind of surprised me that the guy even said it because he's a pretty decent trader. I mean, he's a really good trader and um, just very surprised. But here, so then I'm just going to shrink this down. And so here's the bottom. And I put this out in October. And when we had this divergence and the CPI data hit, and I just said, no one's going to ring a bell. This is what a bottom looks like. Now, I, let's, let's cut the crap. I had no idea this was definitely going to be the bottom. I had an idea that this had a probability of being the bottom because of this divergence, how we acted on that CPI print, which is that week, right? So it gave me the opportunity to say that this might be a possible spot where we could bottom. Right. And it fits because here's the, you know, if it fits on our macro, if I drew out our stool, I'm going to have to come up with a stool image. Um, it fits the stool. Here's where we got macro. Here's where we're not. And we're going to get pre-market again in a second here, but I want to get this. So if I didn't call the bottom, why in the world are you calling the top? 
It just doesn't make any sense to me. And I don't know how you make money off of that. Like, oh, just go defensive. And then you start going, well, just go defensive. Okay, well, let's let's look at, let's, let's see how that's going. Right, well, there's XLP, right? There's Procter & Gamble. Go defensive? Really? All right, maybe I should be going into what? Healthcare? I mean, why not just write a check to St. Jude's? Like, none of that is, none of that looks good, right? So, you know, I don't know. So I start going looking at utilities, like, okay, well, maybe that's all. The, so the point that I'm getting at is, I don't know how you're going to look at this market of New through Spy, how you're going to look at that and just say it's the top. I'm not saying that this looks great. This looks, this looks awful. But to just say that it's not going to be this, but it's going to be, the, right? Like, in other words, we did this, and then by April, a month later, we went higher. But everyone said, oh, this is the top. Like, I don't understand how, you're, how you make money calling that, I guess is my point. I would rather let it play out the way it's going to play out and then figure out where to make money. Remember, we're the remora, they're the sharks. You are not going to move the S&P yourself, no matter how much you try. You're, you know, you're very, very few people are actually even able to move a stock, let alone an index or a sector. And the only sector I see that even has any chance right? Any chance of like actually holding uh, that's not breaking lower lows right now is XLK, which is kind of crazy if you think about it. So then like, I'll just go through this and then we'll call it, but, and then we'll start getting in the names and I'll take questions. But then you start looking at this and let's get rid of all this so that you can see my childlike drawing, but let's get rid of that. So if you start looking at this, well, I mean, do I have a cup? Is this a handle? So I don't know, man. I, I'd be real. I, look, I'd be real careful here. We, the majority of what we're doing in the community right now is bear funds. We're doing okay. You know, if we scale, we do have shorts on too. If we scale out of those shorts, um, if you scale out of those shorts, right? And pull money out, you'll do well. Because you never know when the bounce is coming. But you're going to get trapped. Like I got, I'm short Tesla. I'm trapped this morning. I have to figure out what I'm going to do off the open. You know, I, the, the China news is going to hurt me. Um, can't I'm, I'm not overly surprised it's doing this, but there's a good spot to give it a shot. It's just not going to work. So we'll go from there. But I have a bunch of names that I could personally go over, but let's take some questions here and then go from there. So to uh, do, do, do. Oh, this is an easy one. What's up, Dan? You need to trade using only one indicator. Which one would it be? Uh, price, period. It would just be price. Very bullish trend. Futures up. V, VFS. That hit a level. That hit one of my scans. I don't know enough about it. Um... I really don't know what the heck's going on here. It did hit a scan. It, it, you know, man, you're, you're rolling the dice. Like, I don't know. Is it worth eight to 20? I, I have no idea what's going on here. Like this, I don't even bother to look into these stories. Um, it's a ton of volume. Should I watch it? Yeah. Maybe I'll watch it off the open. Now that you mentioned it candidly, cause I didn't have it on my list guys, please like this video. And please continue to share these and the uh, public streams. I purposely don't run ads, which the algorithm wants me to do. And I get asked all the time to have sponsors on here. And I purposely don't do it, but the algorithm likes it. So you sharing kind of compensates for that. So please keep sharing. Uh, the more people we get in here, the more ideas we get. You know, the other day, I didn't have HE in like my top five. And um, it was not out there, but it was something I was looking at. And then I saw something that I think it was a, a tone mentioned the trade. And then I looked at it later in the day and I did absolutely exceptional from it. And I know other people in this room that are in this public call did exceptional from it too. The more people you get in here, the more ideas we can share, the more ideas we can share, the higher degree of better probability trades. It's really that simple. So keep that in mind. That's the methodology for doing this or the reason for doing this. Um, the more information we get together, the better. So 
I see what you're saying there, John. I'll watch that. I'm not going to go crazy. Uh, I, you know, I just believe in disclosure. I, I have a position here. Um, you know, I have a position here. I, I don't know how, like here, if I just go and do it this way and I just look at this and here, let me get rid of this. Oh, I'll clean all this off. I look at that weekly volume and it all happened on Friday. That whole week is Friday, right? Like just th think about that this way, John. You were just trading normally, do, 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 right? And then one day encapsulated a week where you only had one week that was greater in history. Like it, it doesn't get any clearer. And this is a particular pattern that I like. Um, I, this could have legs, man. I, I would not want to be short this. And I was surprised that you had such positive statements coming out of like real investment banks about, about the quarter. Even the CEO was floored at how well they did, candidly. If you listen to the call, I'd listen to that call if you're looking long term. IBM into it. Okay, we're going old school. What's up, Cam? Uh, Cam, I've not forgotten your question. The one that's in the room that you asked me. I'm working on it, I'm trying to figure out the best way to approach it. Um, I guess my issue would just be those wicks up here because you've already through this, which is beautiful, isn't it? You're already through that, right? Okay. So we're already through that. Yeah. I do think that that's something that, um, you could try. I, I don't know if today's the day. It might be. I, I, here's my problem. Here's, what, here's why I'm, I'm dragging my feet. Where's my volume? Like I can't even have above average volume, but that's kind of how these old school guys are nowadays. And then they move. I don't know. I like how tight it is. And I like the levels that you're at. If you get through those wicks, you're probably going higher. And you're getting a dividend and it's a low PE stock and people want equity exposure. They might buy it, Cam. Um, I, I don't do well trading this one, so I don't trade it. My concern would be this, and I'm sure you already saw that. And maybe that's what you're asking about, Cam. I'm sure you already saw that, right? So I'm not really sure that that would be something that I'd run into. I do see the volume spike. I do like that volume spike. I do like that this volume is greater. Like people should always watch this stuff. See how this volume is greater than here? That's significant, right? Because even if you come here, see how this volume is greater here on the break and then this one is less here. Even though you went up, eventually you gave way, right? So you just kind of want to watch that. Even here, you have these volume spikes. You try to give up, but eventually you'll give, give way. It's just supply and demand. I mean, it's nothing more. So something to think about there. Let's reset that bad boy. Um, I just watch that level. I think, you know, if you watch that level, like it, this is simple, watch the level. And if you want to get super technical on the level, there it is. Let's be real conservative. Let's make that the level 518.53. And let's say you wanted to do this. This is how I would do this trade. If I wanted to do it, I'd get the higher high, right? And if I closed under 15 or 518.53, we're going to need a lot of coffee today. I would wind up getting the heck out of that. I would just get out of the way and go from there. NWLI. Did I? Yeah, I did put that there. All right. Um, eh. I, I'm not a fan of that. I don't. I, I don't know enough about what's going on here to, to render a real opinion. I, I really don't. I mean, I, what I would have to do is this. I'd have to go into these earnings because I guarantee these are all earnings. Something's going on at these events. You're having events. Some kind of event is happening repeatedly. And I don't know what it is. So I'd have to look into that to answer that accurately to see if what's doing this is still valid. I don't have an answer to that. Technically, it's very difficult to look at this from a technical standpoint and tell you not to trade that. It's real. I mean, it's almost impossible. What you would have to do, because here, here's your thing. You, you probably already saw this, but... Let's just pop it in, right? 
So when you flip these upper channels like that, like here, look, see that upper channel? Now watch. Tries, fails, tries, rides that line. That's not a, that's not a coincidence, guys. I love when people tell me technical analysis doesn't work. And then you flip that and you're off. You go parabolic. I just don't know the driving force behind it. And I would want to know the driving force, especially on a chart that's trading in the 80s on a weekly on RSI. It does have that lift feel to it, dude. It does. I, I, you're 100% right. You have, that, you have that lift. You have that squeezy feel to it today. There's no question about it. Uh, you're seeing it off the open. They're catching people out of position. Um, you know, like, like we're, we're, we're going to go down, but now we're not. So there's all kinds of stuff like that today that absolutely you'd want to look at. Um, what's up, Passing? I don't know that I'd be going too. Sh I don't know I'd be going too crazy short here right now. That's just I. I don't even know what's going on here. That is just insane. What's going on there? Absolutely insane. I'd want to know more about this candidly. I mean, is it constant? Wow, it's constant. It's constant growth. <sighs> Jesus. Yeah, I. I don't know. I'd want to look into that. Oh, would I short that? No. Not unless I didn't love myself. I mean, why would you short that? <sighs> Trying to make you laugh, passing. Uh, <laughs> would I short that? No, it's been going straight up for three years. Like, you know, there's no way. There's no way I would short that. It keeps blowing off the negative. Like, I don't know, man. I think now I, I would not go near that short. I would want to understand why this thing's doing what it's doing. Um, I actually dropped it in the link to find out what the heck's going on there. I have no position in this. It's not even on any of my radars. So what's up, John? Good talking to you yesterday. Thanks, Crush. Appreciate it. You know, Michael, you know which one I'm looking at? Speaking of solar, I'm looking at this knee. Riding that line. If we get defensive here, look how we're oversold. And then look at how we act. I mean, when you start looking at this stuff, it almost becomes like laughable how easy it gets. So. Thanks, Finn. Those videos take like, I think they, they'll, some of this can take between 10 to 20 hours to put together. But I think it's a valid way to start the week off and then go from there. Um, I think you could push like that. Um, if time, I like XPEV. If I had to pick one of those, it's XPEV. Baba, I, I wouldn't touch here. Etsy, I wouldn't go near. I'm trying to do lightning round here, guys, because of the time uh, and get it to everyone's questions. CHF USD, probably monthly high close. Long, my term previous resistance support. I, I, the problem, here's your problem, man. Here's your problem with this whole thing, this whole trade, okay? Um, these currencies are going to be so played with right now because of Japan that they're all going to be thrown off, Right. That's going to be your bigger, your biggest issue. Um, yeah, that's kind of my issue there too. That's kind of my issue there too, Swiss. I, I think you're right. Like buy now so that they can rug pull you later and, and kind of go from there. I absolutely think it has the potential if the market does. But you have to realize something. They crushed and they were up last week. Okay. They crushed and they were up last week. And people are trying to act like they called, oh, I knew it was going to do this. You knew what? You knew it was going to go up 7% in a week? Like, what did you know? You know, I, I mean, this, look, I, I say this a lot. I'm going to say it again. You need to call your feed on social media on who you're listening to. And if you find out that you're listening to this and it's throwing you off, stop listening to me. Like, you just have to watch your feed. Like, I, I watch so many people doing like victory laps that they called the quote short on nvidia you called the short on nvidia i mean are, are you joking you know i like seriously are you are you joking 
Okay, it was, it's up 252%. And you're doing the victory lap because somehow you're going to try to convince everyone you called the top here? Like, it's just, it's ridiculous. Just watch it. Can, now that said, can it break down? Absolutely. And all of these, let's, and let's answer your question and let me get off on my rant. All of these eventually will retest the 200 day moving average. Okay. You are no longer in a market where you have $1.7 trillion manipulating the market. Please, do, please remember that, right? The, you don't have zero interest rates anymore. Okay. If you're on margin, you owe money at the end of the month. You, you didn't really own it before. It's going to increase volatility across the board. Please understand that. Can this happen? Yeah. Every 18 months before we had zero interest rates and before we had Fed intervention, the way that we have it at this level, every 18 months, we would have a 10% correction before. You'd have to go back to 08 to look at it, but it was like every 18 months, there'd be something. Absolutely, Donald. That's a great idea. 50 times to blow the video. Thanks, man. Just keep liking it. It does help. Uh, well, it's true. Like, yeah, I mean, when, I, when someone wants to do something, just write a check. It's like easier. You know, what's up, Justin? Uh, what's my plan? Um, what's my plan there? I mean, what are they supposed to say? Like, what are they, like, they're like E, what are they going to say? I mean, seriously, like, we, what are they going to say? We did it? I mean, they're, they're hosed. They're absolutely hosed. It's going to go on like this for years. I, I think you understand my plan by what I'm just saying. Um, depends. I look for divergences everywhere, Otis. I don't know enough about it, man. I got to look into that. Um, I'm short right now. I have a problem. I'm short right now. I'll figure it out this morning what I'm going to do, but I, I'm, I'm short right now. Um, what would I do if th let's pretend I wasn't short and I didn't have a loss right now. And I'll show you what I would do. I would understand that this 22 is going to be a battleground. Isn't that convenient where you stop right there? I use the 12, the 22 and the 55. You should use whatever you're comfortable with. I would understand that if I got through the 22, which I could very easily, Whenever you have a cross, the larger time frame is the real resistance or support. So I can get up to 256. They're going to gap you off the open. They're going to squeeze shorts off the open. Okay. I would understand that. I'd understand that the first pullback is probably not going to hold and they're going to rip it again. And then that second pullback would probably be where I try to short. I mean, I, I, that's the best I can do you know, without showing you a chart, watching it open. Uh, I would not be shorting that. I'm long. I, I would not. I, I, there was, it, could it collapse? Yeah, it could. But that quarter was amazing. Uh, anything about Key Corp? No, HE Wedge. Can you check NVIDIA? Or NVEX, I wouldn't touch it. Uh, yeah, you could squeeze people all day today with that, especially with the Chinese news. I'd be careful there with both of those. All right, I'm gonna to have to jump, guys. I gotta hop in the room. I know, I know that I'm uh, behind on questions, and I apologize. But uh, yeah, I got, I gotta hop in the room here. Um, sorry, guys. Um, I like the Dow. I'm shorted, but I like it long term. But uh, you gotta watch industrials. You have to watch the dollar here. Uh, you're welcome. Uh, you could, you could. You wags. Well, you gotta use what's what works for you. If that works for you, man, you have to use it, right? Like, don't worry about what everybody else is using. If that works for you, then you should use those, those EMAs. If it helps you make a better decision for you, right? That's why there's chocolate and vanilla ice cream. Everybody has different tastes and different flavors. Find what works for you. I got to jump, guys. Trade to win today.